Hello there. Breaking news. Injuries everywhere. Buffonge, Thomas, Hitchcock, Waring, The Harp. They're all injured. We've got an FA Cup third round. I feel like an actual doctor and I don't like it. Right then, welcome back to The Solver Story with me, your host, Dr. Benji FM. Welcome. So, today, two games, Rotherham and Exeter, one FA Cup third round, one league match. Uh, since we last met, which was the 6-0 win over Yeovil in the previous round of the second round of the FA Cup, uh, two league wins, a league defeat to Crawley, and a draw against Tranmere. Now, huh, although it's January, and in the future, this will be a transfer period, not this year, Father Christmas won't be coming. So, £650,000 worth of debt. So, the importance on winning this football match... And getting to the fourth round, relatively important. So let's hope we can do it today. Uh, and then let's prepare the team. Now, because of all our injuries and situations, uh, debuts this season for Nahis Rabi and Miles Addison. Kind of glad they're still around at this point. Uh, we're Fitness-wise, we are absolutely done for. As I mentioned before, Buffonge, uh, Thomas, Hitchcock, Waring and Harp all injured. Uh, Rob Wellington suspended. It's going great, folks. They're, they're, literally, all the players that are injured or... I've got some sort of suspension, would have started today. So let's change the formation ever so slightly. Still three at the back, still five in midfield, but we've about to drop the more attacking midfielder slightly deeper. Uh, as I say, Nabi comes in, Aluko's on the right-hand side, Watts on the left, and Dobson and Doyle, uh, who haven't played as a partnership, I don't think, at all this year, will start today's game against Rotherham. And as we touched again, as we touched on this last episode, Rotherham, despite the fact they're a championship side, aren't having the best time in the championship. Currently 23rd in the division. So I feel like today, we've got a chance. So, let's get into it. As I said, if there's a team in the championship, I feel like we can beat Rotherham are that team. Now, fitness-wise, it's a concern. Andy Tannoy nearly played. That's how. That's, that's That was the situation, folks. Now, Rotherham are the favourites, 4-7, uh, to seven, well, they're 7-4 on. 4-1 uh, to one are we. That's not great odds, but I, I still feel like there's a chance, and I, I hopefully this doesn't now come unstuck. Just going to see if they've got any, anyone in... Oh, is that Carl? Car Charles Gill? Is that the guy that was a Villa, it is the guy that was at Villa. Interesting. He, apart from him, maybe David Wheater, Frank Fielding in goal. Uh, so I know a few of their players. Curious. Right, come on then. No man in behind the striker. We've packed the midfield. Can the three at the back formation still come out on top, despite the fact two of our best defenders probably aren't even playing today? Come on then, boys. This is the moment. This is my moment that I can win in the FA Cup third round. The fire's already struggling, so that's good. Come on, I've got a cup of tea. I'm feeling ready. Cheers. Now, we actually have beaten a championship side already this season in the Capital One Cup or the Carling Cup, League Cup, whatever it is called. Um, I should create my own sponsor for it. In the League Cup, we beat Blackburn. So we are we do know that we can beat a championship te uh, sorry, team on our day. Uh, I think in the second half, we're going to get more attacking. We're away from home. I feel like if we put them under pressure, hold on. Right, the ball is deep in our own half. And that to say we've given that away would be... An obvious statement to make. Uh, from distance, Jed Steer holds it, though. First highlight we've seen in the entire game, and it was a bit of a pot shot uh, from Rotherham. As we go into half-time, I've got an interesting conundrum. Oh, slow down. The fire did well. They're going to still be on it, though. Gil out to Yanch. Rowe, it's a goal. He's, he's turned and shot, and they find a way through. Tommy Rowe with it. Rotherham won. Salford nil. Could the FA Cup dream be over against Rotherham? Surely not. I do feel like when you don't have seven of your best players available, it does make the game more difficult, just as a general rule, really. You can see here, it's fed into him, and it's sort of a, it's not even a touch and turn. It's a, it's a shot, first time, and um, yeah. Right, I think more attacking. Second half, we're going to go pedal to the metal. Right, the wizard is not fit to play today, so he's coming on. If he's magic, he'll be fine. That's all we've got to think. If he's magic, he'll be fine. All right, we're going we're gonna to have to put him up there alongside uh, the rest of the... Well, the gang. Uh, and we'll also switch to more attacking formation. Here we are then. Attack, attack, attack. That's the way we're going to do it. That's the way. Attack, attack. I like it. Attack, attack. That's the way. Attack, attack. I'm tired. Ah, oh, that's what we need. That's what we need. Yes. Perfect, Tom Burridge. That's, that's just what our squad situation needs right now. A red card. Perfect. Uh, so the wizard now has to drop back. I mean, we're, we now have... Oh, what? A Dobson's... Okay, we'll do that. That's the, This is the new system. I don't know how we're going to win this now. I'm just... I'm going to level with you, folks. Don't think it's going to be possible. But 
let's stick it out. I guess if you can take this to a replay, that actually wouldn't be the worst thing for us. A replay would be good because it means we've got to have a second bite of the cherry as Dobson goes through on goal. David Wheater made an error and we've got a goal. It's our second shot on target and George Dobson has got it. David Wheater makes a, a, it's a terrible error. The fire, an interesting camera angle. What a lovely, can I just, everyone pause. Football manager, not known for its graphics, I would say, but that there. I mean, it looks like the gas on H1Z one's coming in. But apart from that, it looks... Oh, I'm quite I might just ponder this. Very nice indeed. I'm actually thinking about what building I'm going to go and hide on. H1Z one's taken over my life. Uh, so it's in the distance. You probably can't see it from this camera angle. But uh, we did score. The ground... I wouldn't say it was packed, because that end ground's got no one in. That stand. Ground stand. It's a stand. It's a bloody... Now, all of a sudden, is there a chance that we can uh, we can win this? I mean, let's, let's just hold our horses as Rob's... Well, it was a good, look, 10 men. It's unlikely that we're ever going to get anything from this game. Sure, we scored a goal. But anyone can score a goal. This is football, all right? This is football. This camera angle makes more sense now that they've scored. Um, Robinson with it. It's a smart finish. It's still well beaten. It was it was in the corner, to be fair. He's never getting it. Okay, not sure what to do. Another highlight. I mean, it may go our way, however unlikely it seems. Okay, it seemed unlikely, but we're on the attack. Aluko with it, plays it forwards to our Cypriot wonder man, the wizard. Can he create some magic? Well, he made the ball disappear, so they're through on goal. Robinson hits the post. Bloody hell. Long throw in. David Wheater, he's known for it, apparently. Uh, actually, no, I think I've seen him do it in real life, so that's it's fair enough. Uh, Rowe with it into that chap there. Lafferty, ball inside. Jed still makes a good save. It was offside. I feel like this is the FA Cup. We should probably be going for this a little bit more. Ten minutes to go. I think we I think we throw it at them. I think that's the phrase. All right, that's uh, none of this retain possession nonsense. Push our up. Just, yes, just get in there, essentially. Watson, Aluko can push further forwards. Uh, Dobson can just come out to this right side. Oh, he doesn't like it, but what? Look, we can't. Andy Tanoy on, maybe free kick specialist. Oh, go on then. Making his round to the field, number six, Andy Tanoy. Nah, you know. We're struggling. Stephen Watts. Doesn't look up for this. Ah, that's good. We've uh, not had a single highlight. Oh, the game's over. So that's perfect. Unless th unless there's a breakaway now within these 30 seconds. Consider it done. All right? We don't, we're don't. we not going to get any more money. Hold on. The fire. Pumps it forward. Aluko on it. Turns. Gets suckled. And we've lost it. And now it's Rotham's turn to attack. That's the closest the ball's got to their goal for quite some time. And there it is then. Rotherham 2, Salford 1. We don't march on to the next round. So it means the league is now our sole focus. And it's going quite well. Let's find out just how well it's going in the next game. Never mind. Never mind, everyone. Okay, game two. Um, before I make the changes for today's match, I thought I'd just show you what we've got right now. So that's the team we started with in the last game. Two injured, one suspended. It's like musical chairs. Okay, we're getting closer to what I would play ordinarily. It suggests Jeff Thomas he can't play. He can't play. Right, this might be regrettable, but I've rushed Tom Hitchcock back. He's not fit enough for this game, but Aluko's the only other player really that can play. Actually, let's switch those two around. That's probably going to be better. Madison on the right, uh, Aluko on the left, where I think Aluko will be a slightly more natural uh, fit. Now, can we win against Exeter? The league table, folks, is getting very exciting. It's going very well. We are second in the table, as I mentioned before. We've lost one game in recent memory, and that was to Crawley. So they hold a seven-point lead over us. But if you know about this division, you'll know the top three go up automatically. So as long as we stay in that hunt, we should be fine. Today we face Exeter, who are down in 22nd. And uh, we have a chance to really affirm ourselves as title contenders. Maybe not title contenders, but promotion contenders. And that, my friends, is just important. Just as important. Ah, oh, well. It was a, you, you wouldn't get Churchill messing it up, would you? Then again, I don't think Churchill makes football manager videos. So, 1-0. Right, they're playing a very familiar 4-4. Sorry, but is that, is that Wayne Routledge? Holy mother. 35-year-old Wayne Routledge. Can't run anymore, uh, but he can do everything else. So, look out for him. Probably explains why they're 22nd, to be fair. Right, we're gonna get we're gonna get them up for this. I'm gonna go with a calm approach of come on, look, there's a lot more to come from you lot, and you've got what it takes. Now, a few players returning from injury. Tom Hitchcock, the key one. We can't really afford for him to get injured again based on the fact he's got 17 goals this season. So, got this pen here. If, oh, one of the least threatening things I think I could do. Right then, the games begin. Uh, Salford versus Exeter. We're at home for this one as well, so that makes us even stronger favourites, you'd imagine. And uh, apart from that loss to Crawley, we're in very good form. So, and, and the Rotherham game that we lost as well. Apart from those two losses, we're doing great. Apart from that other draw we had, where we should have probably won against Tranmere, but um, 
you know, you can't, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Now, we're back to the formation that we know and love, and hopefully with so many familiar faces back in the side, we can find ourselves a win. After half an hour, not a great deal has happened. The highlight we just saw there was the only thing we've seen so far as the ball gets pumped all the way through. Anya yeah, back in the side today, gets tackled but wins it back. A Luke on this left-hand side. Not used to playing out there, but uh, hopefully he can do a job for us. Hitchcock heads it down, and Owen Doyle. Yes, it's Owen. Thank you, everybody. I, I, I've never had... Of all the names I've got wrong, right... I said Owen as like Ewan or something like that because because I knew it was Owen. So just testing you all and you passed. So congrats. Jake Hessenthal or Athal has picked up a booking. I do believe he's the son of Andy Hessenthal because I've not seen that name too familiarly. F familiarly. Familiarly. Oh, God. Right, Hitchcock is struggling. I was actually hoping he'd get a first half goal and I would look like a genius. Sadly, that's not what's happened. Uh, George Dobson, who scored in the last game, is going to replace him at half-time. Three yellow cards currently in that first half, so expect someone to get sent off because that seems to be the way right now. Just, oh, let's piss him off. Let's get sent off. Oh, oh. You know our good form. Let's try and derail it. That seems to be the conversation. It would be a very underwhelming episode if we don't win today. I'll say that much. Luckily, there's a special announcement at the end of the video, which you should definitely hang around for. Wellington, ball in, cleared. Parker on it now. If he can find a ball into the middle. Madison's back on it. A shot from there would be majestic. Oh, but it is majestic. Left footed. I do believe he is left footed, despite the fact I put him on the right. Cuts inside. Marcus Madison swings one into that far corner. Let's take a look at it in three dimensions. If, a band, if there's not a band on this planet called Three Dimensions, that is a missed opportunity. As we get the ball here, Madison, lovely control. And uh, he picks the spot and finds the spot. The keeper, well beaten. Salford 1, Exeter 0. And we are still seven points behind Crawley. We're coming forward again. The Wizard on it now. Forward to Doyle. Doyle with a shot at the goalkeeper. And Hethenthal uh, clears it. I also thought it was Hessenthal, but maybe I'm wrong. The Wizard looks to be struggling out there, so we might have to make a tactical switch. 25 minutes left. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to bring on my Cypriot brother. Not related. I'm not Cypriot at all. Uh, and switch around with Wellington. Push Wellington a little bit further forward. Bring uh, Zenon slightly further back, and then uh, continue the game. We can't just stop it there. We can't go, making the sub, let's just end it. Ah, good. Willocks. Willock, I've just made, the, just made the change. Um... Willock's just... <laughs> second, yeah, second yellow card. He's haunting me at the moment. So, despite the change we've just made there, let's let's bring him back. Welcome back, Wellington. Good to see, good to see you, mate. Switch those two rounds. For goodness sake, every game. Right, so another red card. Good. Discipline is top-notch right now. So that's positive. Dobson with it. He's got a man ahead of him. Can he pick him out? Decides to go backwards. And the, the, the switch of play there was ill-timed. Forrester on this left-hand side, if you can get a ball into the ball, we're going to be in trouble. Spencer back post, he scores. It's outrageous. Jimmy Spencer with the goal. He's run up to the assistant like he had something to tell him. Uh, yeah, not good. You can see here then, the ball on this side, it's whipped in. Defensively, we're not on that. And at the back post, he prods home. The red card has arguably cost us. We gave the ball away in the middle, and now look what's happened. Go and attack in. Two minutes to go, why not? Right then, throw in for them, and it ends 1-1. Red cards. We've seen red today, quite literally, twice. And we already had someone on the suspension going into the last game. This is not... I'm bollocking. Aggressive. That was not good enough. We should be... They look fired up. Good. I'm glad somebody does. I'm <laughs> sorry. I think I'm coming down with something now. Well, it's the... That's disappointing. I was hoping we'd go through in the FA Cup, and then smash Exeter. In fact, a loss and a draw. So... Ding. It's all just a big shame. It's all just a big shame. Right then, that does bring us to the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. Let's aim for 712 likes. Why not? Uh, and also, I had a special announcement. The Things Can Only Get Weber t-shirts are available right now. Things Can Only Get. There's the design on screen there. Yes, they're available now. £11. They're available worldwide. If you want one, go and get one. Uh, well, I had to hit like a pre-order. Uh, number we hit that so now if you, if you get one they're available for the next 10 days or so uh, and they will be delivered as such uh, as they can now be made so links in the description for those and thank you for watching i'll see you again soon with love with care from dr benji